my name is Kelly and I'm one of the educators with Bywater Solutions and I have a short tutorial for you, the patron, using the OPAC, the Public Library Catalog, to your greatest advantage. So this is just a sample um, public catalog, what we call the OPAC. Um, yours may look slightly different. Every library has the ability to customize their OPAC to fit their library's needs. So this is just a sample. Um, but with most of your libraries, you will be able to log into your account. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and show you a few things that you have the capability of doing um, using your library account, um, whether you're at your home or at your library um, public access computers. So I am going to log into my account. The screen that will populate um, for me to begin with is just the summary, everything that I've checked out. I have my finds here. I can see any holds, article requests. The first thing I wanted to show you is how to renew an item um, from the your public catalog, from your OPAC. I have this little renew um, column and I have a box. If I can renew the item, I would be able to click this box. Now this library has set up automatic renewals, so I don't have the ability to renew anything that has that automatic renewal. Or if there's something that has set up that um, won't let me uh, renew until a certain date. So this looks like this, I can't renew until the day before it's due. So it just depends on how your library is set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and click this Renew button. It does tell me that I have um, five of five renewals um, left on my account. And then I can click the bottom where it says Renew Selected. Once I do that, then it's going to reload my summary page, giving me a new due date. So now it actually goes kind of to the bottom, and now I have it um, due on the 1st of February. It tells me that I've renewed it right here. Um, another great advantage is you can allow yourself to um, populate those due dates um, by, you know, descending or ascending here. Another feature that you can do on your public um, catalog is you have this privacy tab over to the left right here. Now this would vary on what library, what your library has chosen to do, but there are some libraries, a lot of libraries, that allow the patron to be able to choose their privacy. So here I have um, a little bit of an information about my privacy management and what my options are. So I have the option to keep my reading history without limit. That would be that forever choice. I have a default that says please keep my reading history according to local laws and then the library would um, go ahead and purge those by what those laws were or never and that would say don't keep my reading history delete it delete everything once I check it in. So if you wanted to change it I can go ahead and choose my privacy rule and then hit save. If at one point I wanted to, I had always kept it at forever, but I wanted to delete everything that I had checked out, I have this immediate deletion. This would um, automatically delete everything if I wanted to change my mind. But once you do that, remember, you can't go back. Okay, so I can go ahead and hit save. And it tells me my privacy rules have been updated. Another feature um, to do on the OPAC as a patron is I actually can review my personal details. So I also have a personal detail tab over here and once again if your library allows it you can actually update any information that you have um, and send that to the library um, to let them know maybe you've changed your phone number or your email or you've moved. Um, this library has some additional information at the bottom um, so your library may have this where it may be a monthly newsletter that you can go ahead and choose. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just say that my phone number, I'm going to input my phone number just so they have it. And then I'm going to go ahead and submit that update request. This will get sent to the library and they will update that information um, on my record for me. So this is just a few of the um, things that you can do on the public catalog once you're logged into the OPAC. Thanks so much for watching.
This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. Have a great day.